So hi, my name is Farid and today I want to show you something. When you are dealing with some mockup and you want to use some locomotion movement in your uh, project and you don't have the um, the budget to use a uh, mockup suit or you know or you're tired from the uh, the AI generated uh, 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 web based gener generated AI uh, mockup uh, like uh, Move AI or magic or or uh, deep motion so there is a solution if you really it's just a quick tutorial about how you can um, manage to incorporate some locomotion movement and there is a, a ton of things like a scary walk as you can see on this website uh, which uh, the plugin that i want to talk about it and this is the motorica and you when you head over to their their website there's a really uh, very good mock-up things. The deal, the things is that they, they give you for free uh, 10 seconds. So, but you know, for the most cases, you can combine them and <laughs> just put camera cut just to um, uh, to bring them all together without need to uh, simulate all the 10 seconds that they give uh, you for free. Anyway, you can uh, angle to the site and you go to the uh, download and there is a an, an website one you can you can you know by exporting some uh, some uh, <coughs> sorry some FBX directly from the web uh, from their web website uh, to Maya or to to Blender or something but we I want to use it it's very really, it's very really easy to use it in uh, in in Unreal Engine uh, you know to simplify the retargeting the many things that come with the you know dealing with the mockup uh, stuff anyway um, as I said you can go to the Unreal Engine and you can download the uh, you go to the download Motorica Studio and there you when you scroll down you can see what is it yeah this is the installation uh, uh, sorry uh, we want to uh, yeah yeah Unreal Engine and we want to download the uh, um, download Motorica Studio then uh, you know you find it somewhere here what is it <laughs> uh this is the download now here sorry sorry and uh, you th there is a, a version up uh, 5.2 uh, until the 5.4 so i can use it for the f uh, in this case for the unreal engine ua 5.4 after you download it you put it inside the um, plugin uh, from the um, from your uh, unreal engine and then you uh, just enable it when you go to the inside. Let me first. I just want to. So, so that you don't have uh, my graphic card is uh, running like crazy with nothing. When I hit uh, a, a, a higher uh, frame rate, it will give me. I don't know. Uh, it will hit the 70C temperature, you know. <laughs> Oh no, I just put it inside because I don't hear myself. <laughs> anyway, when you go to the plugin and after the installation, as I said, you find it here, you just enable it and that's it. When you enable it and everything is okay, you find it here in the um, on the shelf, on the menu there. So what, how it works, let me first, uh, let us make some uh, new level, so basic one, and we want to automatically save it so save the current level and we want to i want to call it empty and then we now before that if you hit the so let me put something on the screen first so if i go to the uh tokyo alley in the measures and some bikes you know so we put some bikes so just i want to show you um maybe some building um yeah, bike shop something you know you just you just uh no not the pie shop <laughs> um i just i just want to put something in the uh in cars maybe yeah we want to put some cars yeah we want the uh, the guy to come somewhere and go to the the car oh, I see many things here 
Anyway, say you have some scene like this and you want a guy who's running from the bicycle from here to the bicycle and then to the for example. So we hit the um, this button to fire the motorica and then uh, you have some things to do before. Uh, login first you have to log in because um, you just have to create an account on their website and you log in inside. Let me let me log in quickly and come back. So I when you log in you say it says login successfully and you can find some uh, kind of uh, uh, organized folder from the uh, the motion then you can choose from. So uh, next thing to do is we want to bring uh, the same level that you see here. So the cur current level here so that we can uh, um, uh, time the, the movement from the actor that we want to uh, to bring in so you just hit the this button and it will give you the level that you are in and uh, the only difference between you know what you see here in this uh, windows and the one you you have uh, currently open as level is the gizmo so a little bit so the gizmo is looking really <laughs> so i don't know if i move this one it will yeah yeah we just we don't want to move anything we just want to let the level like this the things that we are going to move or to um, uh, manipulate is the actor so next thing to do is um, uh, bring the actor so you can hit here add actor and it's like uh, looking like a new fan character so skeleton i think and uh, it's exactly in the center location you know. so say we want him uh, to start working to the uh, you know to the bicycle and then then to the car or to the car and after the bicycle say you can choose the to um do this with uh, within the 10 uh, uh, 10 seconds that they give you uh, for free as i said um uh you know as i said in the beginning that is just uh, the 10 second uh, uh free try free uh, uh yeah, time that they, they give you to to do your uh, mock-up for free but it's it's uh, 10 frames okay <laughs> so we want to move it first thing we we want to set some set up some some frame in the local which you can see this is uh, this looks like a uh, uh, like sequencer so just like in sequencer and this is the sequencer really um, we just put some frame from the character working whatever you want so we can put him maybe he go to the car something like this and we want to turn it so that he can open the door or something and then we want him um, to stay a little bit there so we can hit the k-frame again and then after at the end we want him to go to the bicycle so we turn him and he go to the so if you lose him we want to no there is some um, things you have to do just uh, set up the, the right rotation or something you know you can see when I when it's uh, compiling after it's been compiled you can see so uh, I put some k-frame here and you can see this is the basic movement he moved from here to here and then to here so next thing to do is choose from the um, as I said the world the, the bunch of uh, of uh, thing you want to do like uh, so you do some creator you do some expression like afraid or confused or something and because you set up some um, um, transform uh, k that uh, is going to work in uh, in confused fashion or energetic or something let us take the energetic for example as soon as you click on this button it will show here and you can put some like two i think two or three i don't know if you can put three yeah, you can put three and then you can blend between them you know but we don't want to do this first we want to see what's happened when we just hit the energy tick and we set the first frame and we go to the generate animation so you hit io one time and it will it will uh, start moving from the way you can see is working to the car and let me zoom a little bit so that you can see what's going on so now we have a little bit more time so is walking and he is a little bit running why because you know the time he have to be in this position as soon as possible so I mean he's uh, is going to uh, hurry a little bit so that he he come on the right time here so you can time it as you want if you want to that he work quickly or 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 slowly so he is on the car he stop 
and then he makes some uh, stop here then there now he is going to run again because the time is too too small all right so and you can play it if i there you can see it's working and this is very really easy to choose between the bunch but you can you see it's, it's working like an energetic so we don't want this we want the zombie for example this is the common one which everybody use so if you choose the you just uh, hit the first frame and then you go to generate animation you can see um, exactly what he's going to do work like a zombie so let me deselect it so that we can see yeah as soon as you you play it will share up there so it's <laughs> he's going like uh, crazy you know you stop yeah and uh, yeah, go to the car <laughs> all right so very easy very easy very easy you can choose you can test you know this is not not uh, uh something that you can you know something uh, that you can uh, undo redo you can you know you can choose and, and there is a bunch of them you can experiment you know as you want and look there here he's going to look like he's afraid he turn around stop all right and then he go so he's looking afraid anyway um goblins for example and you can as i said you can uh, blend between them so and every time you choose you have to uh, generate the uh, animation again so that he's uh, going to so he's uh, working like goblins <laughs> goblin <laughs> At the same time, looking afraid, so you can you can see. Now it comes the time, the fun time. So you, we want to take this animation from here to to Unreal because we are inside the uh, the Motorica uh, UI. So next thing you you have to do, there's a little uh, many things to do here, but anyway, we just skip this. It's not important for us in this moment. So you did your animation and save the animation as, and now we want to put it something in the FPS on. I have already three so we can put some four and all right we can go outside we don't need so next thing we want to go to the uh, um, I think I have uh, le let us make some uh, oh first thing uh, I, I just want to show you the targeting so <coughs> now we have this this animation as you can see um, let me see let me put him here can see this is the animation is going to the car and then from the car he go to the bicycle as we tend say you want to put it to the uh, you of course before retargeting you can do some some manipulation if you go to the for example if um, let me see if I can uh, address this uh, so for example you see the hand you don't like the hand so the left arm for example the, the, the yeah say the say, say the say the left arm you want to move it a little bit so you can put some key here and yeah move a little bit and we want the arm a little bit so down so we hit key as you can see we can manipulate this you can do it also in the on the on the sequencer if you want but anyway you can this you can do the the additive animations um, um, uh, refinement here before you target and then we use save it of course and then we go to the uh, we want uh, we want to know who targeted so target it right mouse click who target animation it's very really easy in 5.4 and you can choose anything from the uh, the uh, this one won't work um, you can choose anything that is a little bit compatible with the skeleton uh, because it's a UFN we want to, <coughs> to put it to uh, uh, you can retarget it uh, retarget to any uh, any uh, skeleton you want with the uh, with the provided retargeter that comes with the project when you download it say you, you want to target to the uh, to the robot here so we choose the four and you can see it's export animation export export and then we have it here so we want to put it on the fps so move here all right it doesn't uh, uh you don't want say we want um we want to go outside here and we go to the uh let me let me make um uh, uh, we have something here this is the targeted right all right 
um, let me make some uh, you know some level sequence and uh, why it doesn't want to take transition because it's the same name <laughs> we want a uh, rename Uh, this is a robot that's why it doesn't want to take it from here to the fpx move here all right so open the uh, sequencer we want the the guy the uh well, first we have to bring it fpx sorry uh we want uh transient robot egg. all right so because we didn't change anything we just want to uh, if i select it and go to the to the middle you can see here now i have it here exactly what it was <coughs> <coughs> sorry what it was so now the thing is you have to bring it here in the in the sequencer so that i can put the animation um the transients robot so now it's working to the car and then up so we have to think uh, mm, um, yeah we want uh, yeah something like this so you can see it's looking really good so and say you know you can generate many things like for crowd crowd thing and it's a little bit flying you know it's flying but anyway we can address this uh, I'm laying up yeah, because the skeleton is not right so <laughs> we can move it uh, which is the one no uh, yeah I don't think it will work like this yeah we have to do it in the anyway you can move it on the transform here you know so it's looking good so if you put some camera say you want put some camera uh, let me see he's coming and we want to as you can see he, d he doesn't turn really so you just have to be uh, a little bit precise when you uh, decide which direction he's going to go so you have to in the motorica you uh, when you when you set up the um, when you bring the actor you can see when you move it from one you just have to decide in which direction it's going so if you if you want the if you, if you let it like this is going to to run sideways and this uh, is going to straight forward so but anyway you can play with this uh, it's very easy there's nothing compli complicated as you can see you can now uh, play with this so say the camera is moving here like this um by the way this is uh this is just uh <laughs> me playing all right so he just put some keys camera is coming and then we follow him after he's going to the the bicycle he puts the cave eyes on, um, we just want to adjust this with some right so anyway you can play with this and look at the f very good mo the motion is really good I don't know how you know you can looks good for free thank you for watching see you in the next tutorial <laughs>